Hey, how's it going guys? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be performing and then teaching you this card trick that has a very powerful visual effect. So I do recommend you stick around to learn this one. But before we get into the performance, I just want to let you guys know that I did reach out to the 10 winners of the January Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, but do not worry if you did uh, not win. I will be starting a new giveaway on the channel for the month of February. I will be announcing the details for that giveaway in my next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And also, if you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more card and magic trick performance and tutorial videos like this one. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the performance of this card trick. Okay, so I'd start off this trick just by giving the deck a quick riffle shuffle, like so, mixing up the cards. Now, for this trick, I would need my spectators to go ahead and choose a card. So they could just call stop anywhere. So let's say they call stop right here. So I'm riffling down the side. And this card right here, where they called stop, will go ahead and be their selection. So in this case, we have these six of spades. Now, I'm going to take my spectator's card, and we're going to go ahead and lose it somewhere into the middle of the deck, just like that. We'll go ahead and give the cards a quick riffle shuffle as well. Really losing your cards somewhere, you know, into the middle of the deck here. Now, guys, um, I'm going to try something pretty cool with the pack. So keep in mind, your card is, in fact, lost in the deck somewhere. All I'm going to do is wave my hands over the deck. And you guys will see that your card should jump right here to the top, the Queen of Spades, right? Wait, the Queen of Spades obviously is not your card, but guys, check it out. If I take the Queen of Spades, you guys can actually see... It looks like the queen is holding a card. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six spade uh, like, uh, you know, symbols right here. So it looks like the queen of spades is somehow holding your card, the six of spades. But watch this. If I take the queen, I'm going to go one, two, three, just like that. I actually can rip the six of spades right out of the queen of spades' hand, just like this. So my spectator's card is now right here. In my hands. So guys, that is the card trick. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you want to learn how to do this really awesome visual card trick, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. And now let's get right into the tutorial for this card trick. So this one is not too difficult to perform sleight of hand wise, yet it has that uh, very powerful ending as you guys saw in the performance. So let's get right into how you're going to be able to perform this trick. So what you're going to want to do to start is just take out the Queen of Spades and the Six of Spades from the deck. And I do recommend you guys use a uh, standard bicycle deck for this trick. Obviously, the box looks like this. I'm sure uh, most of you guys have uh, either, you know, the blue or red standard bicycle deck of cards. And the reason you want to use a bicycle deck is because it has the Queen of Spades with this specific design um, where the Queen kind of looks like it's holding the Six of Spades. So as you guys can see here, these little symbols... They sort of look like, you know, a spade, not 100%, but they do, you know, look quite close to the symbol of a spade. And obviously the queen is holding one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is why you want to take out the queen of spades and then the six of spades, just like this from the deck to start off. And also, if you guys have some Theory 11 decks, I know, for example, the Neil Patrick Harris Theory 11 deck does have this same design here with the queen holding a six of spades per se you know with these symbols that look really close to a spade so that also works just make sure your queen of spades that you are using does have this design on it now here is the setup all you're going to do is go ahead and place the queen of spades right there on top of the deck the six of spades directly on top of that and you're ready to go this is the only setup for the trick and um, once you have your setup you're ready to start so you can go to your spectator you can do a ripple shuffle just make sure you keep those uh cards there on top of the deck you do need to keep this setup uh, for the trick you can also you know do some false cuts as well just make it seem like you're mixing up the deck but in reality you have your setup now what you need to do here is force the uh six of spades on your spectator i recommend you guys do a riffle force so all you need to do is swing cut about half the deck in your other hand like this maintain a break from where you uh, you know did the cut you go ahead and transfer this over to a pinky break like that you call, have your spectator call stop anywhere as you're riffling down the side. Wherever they call stop, you literally lift up on the break. You say, okay, you could have called stop anywhere. You go ahead and just show the card where they called stop. You flip it over like this. It will obviously be that six of spades. Now, what you need to do here is really important. You just bring this packet right there to the top because you need to have the queen of spades directly behind their selection right here, the six of spades. So what you can do here, you can do a couple things. You can do what I did, the performance. You go ahead and turn the card over. You spread open about half the deck and you do this move here where it seems like you're literally sliding off the card and putting it in the middle of the deck, but in reality, you are keeping it on top. So you're going to take your middle finger that's holding this bottom portion of cards and your thumb on top of the pack. 
you're going to kind of angle the deck up towards you and as you're bringing the deck down like this you're going to use your middle finger to slide off this random card right here, the bottom card in this top packet, the Ace of Hearts, while your thumb is gliding over the top card. So it's in slow motion. This is what it looks like. Just pretend like you're sliding off that top card, but in reality, you're just sliding off this card. So it makes it seem like you slid off the Six of Spades, but then you go ahead and, but in reality, you just slid off a random card. You go ahead and place the pack on like that, and you still have your setup right here on top of the deck. But if you do not want to do that move, it doesn't really matter. You can literally just do, you know, some false cuts at this point, telling your spectator you're losing their card in the pack. But in reality, it's right here, you know, on top of the deck. So at this point, with your uh, setup that you still have, um, you are going to tell your spectator that their card is lost somewhere in the middle. You're spreading out the deck like this. And then as you close up the deck, you're going to need to get a pinky break below the uh, top two cards, which are, you know, the six of spades and queen of spades, because you're going to get into the position here to do a double lift. So you get your break like that, or you can literally come over with your thumb. You can go one, two, like that, and just get a break, you know, below those top two cards. So either way, you need to now do a double lift. And right before you do that, you're going to tell your spectator, okay, I'm going to snap my fingers, wave my hand over the deck, and I'm going to try and get your card to jump to the top. You snap your fingers, do whatever you want to. You do your double lift like this, and you say, okay, the six of spades should have jumped to the top, but wait, this is the queen of spades. That's not right. So as you're kind of acting like you messed up, you're going to go ahead and pick up the two cards like this, the uh, two face-up cards. Now that you have the queen of spades and the six of spades, pick it up as one card. Keep the, uh, these two cards very square. That's really important. You're going to go ahead and place the deck down, and now you can just kind of casually turn over the card like this, Make sure your spectator thinks there's only one card here. So it's really important, like I said, you keep the two cards as square as possible. Now you're going to uh, basically sh show your spectator that it looks like the queen of spades is holding holding their selection, the uh, six of spades, because you can kind of point out, you know, the, the little design that the, that the queen is holding there. Then you're going to go ahead and transfer your grip like this. One hand is going to want to grip the bottom right corner here. You're going to kind of pinch it with your three fingers like so. Come over with your other hand. In this case, my left hand. You're going to do the, kind of do the same grip right here on the design. Make sure you guys don't do what I did there. Keep Try to keep the cards as square as possible while you're doing this. Um, like so. And then you're going to just say, okay, watch this. You're going to go one, two, three. And then on three, so this is what it looks like in slow motion. You're going to be literally just be pulling that six of spades from behind uh, the queen of spades and just lifting it up like that, kind of getting that little flick in there to make it seem like you're ripping the six of spades right from the queen's hand. And if you do this move quickly like this, it does have a very powerful visual effect and you can give both of these cards to your spectator to completely examine. So uh, one more time here, guys, this is how you're gonna wanna do that move. You're pinching here with your three fingers in the bottom right corner. You come over with your other hand like this, pinch same thing, you're pinching right on the design. You go one, two, three, you lift up. It's really easy to do, get that little flick in there and you give your, these cards to your spectator to examine. And this trick has a very powerful visual effect. So I do recommend you guys give this one a try. It will completely confuse all of your spectators. So guys, that is the card trick. I hope uh, you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below about how to perform this trick. It's obviously not too difficult to perform, you know, slightly hand wise, just make sure the queen of spades you are using with your deck does have this design here with the uh, six spade like symbols. So that's gonna wrap it up for, for this video. I will be announcing a new giveaway in my next video, uh, you know, for the month of February. Um, but anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.